Hello, I am Dr. Daniel Salim. Today I would like to speak about acidity. That is a very common phenomenon found among youngsters and elders nowadays. So this is mainly due to our lifestyle and food habits. What is acidity? In medical terms, we call it as gastroesophageal reflux disease (GRD). We need to understand a few points related to it. First, the food that we consume reaches the stomach through the food pipe. In between the food pipe and the stomach, there is esophageal. In the esophagus, there is an esophageal sphincter which is responsible for the prevention of acid reflux and stoppage of the stomach contents from moving backwards. So due to certain food habits, the esophageal sphincter becomes dysfunctional in many people due to which the problem arises. I shall list out a few symptoms of this disorder. Burning sensation in the chest is the most common symptom. Uh, secondly, a prickly feeling in the throat. Sometimes it is accompanied by persistent dry cough. A sense of soreness in the mouth when you brush your teeth. So this indicates the advanced stage of acidity. Burning sensation in the chest is the most important symptom. So people above 50 years of age with this symptom must immediately visit the hospital ER in order to confirm if it is not a heart attack. I have personally experienced such a situation in one of my family member which proved to be fatal. Hence it is necessary to undergo ECG and similar test to confirm if it is not a heart attack. Now I shall list out the 10 effective technique to cure the burning sensation of the chest and to cure the GERD. Have your food, especially breakfast between 7 am to 9 am. The stomach produces enzymes and hydrochloric acid which prevents the sphincter dysfunction during digestion. Regular timings of the having food assist the stomach in functioning optimally. So do not skip food, especially breakfast, that might lead to complications in the future. If you drink water along with food or after having food, the food might get diluted and get stuck in the stomach for a longer time, which is unnecessary and might cause acidity and GRT. The small and large intestine are responsible for absorption of the food. Hence, drink water half an hour before or one and a half hour or two hours after consuming the food. 3. Which food causes acidity? The spicy food, the pickles and the oily items normally produce. Normally, when you take these fried leftovers which is actually carbon, this would cause severe acidity and it can loosen the sphincter. Which food can be consumed? Non-citrus fruits such as uh, watermelon, uh, chilled curd that is not sour, buttermilk after lunch or dinner, egg white all are very good. Dinner must be had half stomach. The food we must eat must pass on to this intestine from our stomach. Hence we must go to sleep 2-3 to three hours after having food. Avoid smoking and consumption of excessive alcohol and coke due to the high carbon content that may cause the loosening of the sphincter and result in acidity and GRD. Raise the bed up to 30 to 45 degrees while you sleep if you suffer from extreme acidity. You can as well use 5 pillows initially and reduce the number to 3 or 2 gradually once you feel better. So reduce weight around the stomach and fight obesity by exercising regularly this would help in prevention of acidity if you are not able to get rid of the acidity in spite of all the above mentioned step you must consult a doctor in order to diagnose the presence of a, any ulcer or helicobacter infection through endoscopy sometimes doctor would prescribe ranitidine pandoprazole or gelusil syrup as a cure but medications should only be taken under doctor's advice. We cannot depend on these medicines all throughout our life. So it is better to enhance our lifestyle and food habits in order to prevent acidity. 
so kindly share this important information to everyone and help them stay healthy dr d better life will come with another good topic soon take care everyone thank you